when we are given the opportunity to study things that um, is outside of where our center program is, that's where your brain really has to start thinking. It's starting to put things together that you've never been exposed to. You start to get ideas that you might have never had before. Coming in, sometimes as a freshman, it's like, oh, I just want to get into my major classes. But when you take those gen ed classes that are not related to your major or your choice or your idea of your study, it really opens up your mind and broadens your horizon to see what others are doing. Some universities don't even allow students to declare a major when they enter the university. They want them to be able to have those experiences and to really be able to know what their passions are. And it's very difficult for a student that just graduated from high school to know those things. In my um, home country in Argentina, we don't have general education classes for everyone in college. So when I came here to the States and I came to understand what the general education curriculum meant, I thought that is genius, that's wonderful, because this gives the advantage to our students to be exposed to different disciplines, different careers, different perspectives. And even if you come into college with a very set idea of what you want, that still is gonna give you an edge. It's gonna give you even broader perspective or a depth in perspective in what you're trying to um, specialize in. You have a lot of people here to help guide you. So don't be scared to ask questions about your degree to figure out where you wanna be. If you're uninterested in, in your first semester set of classes, we, we should talk about it. See what your options are. And don't be closed-minded. Just keep an open mind about things and take things seriously. It's the only time you're really going to be asked and have the opportunity to pick other classes from outside of your discipline. I was a psychology communication major entirely because of general education. Taking those two courses just shifted my thinking in terms of what I was really interested in, which was what if I could really get to know other people to help them and find a way to communicate with them effectively. I really feel like I wouldn't be here today as a faculty member with the interest areas I have and how I teach if I didn't have those experiences. The class that impacted me the most was probably my world history class. I found that I was learning more than just the facts about history. I found out that the the decisions that people made in the past really impacted the decisions that we make now for the future and those consequences were something that we were able to learn from. I think that English comp is one of the most important classes because nothing is more important than how you communicate. So no matter what business you're in, especially in today's world, you're always communicating through email and sometimes that's your first impression you make on somebody. So it's really important to have proper English just because it's a lot more professional and you get that respect. London Woods program made me more aware of a lot of things outside of what I had been accustomed to with just being a police officer. Um, but there were a lot of uh, different perspectives in a lot of different areas that Lindenwood really opened me up to. Communications that Lindenwood uh, required of all of us coming into the LCIE program was probably the most beneficial. Looking back at that class, the public speaking and the writing aspect was, was huge. I had written in high school, uh, advanced writing. Um, but over the years, I'd gotten away from that style of writing totally because I wrote police reports, which are very factual to the point. And Professor Hickenlooper took note, the very first class, and asked uh, what I did for a living. And when I told him, he said he could spot us a mile away, which told me he was a professor, number one, that read all of our papers, and two, he had been doing this long enough that he knew how we wrote as police officers. And he made a huge impact on me, um, my writing, uh, throughout Lindenwood and the continued presentations throughout all of the programs was a tremendous asset to me for my career. Lindenwood gave me not only the, the skill set to talk to people, but that confidence in being able to step out and talk to people just based upon the repetition. I took Introduction to Sociology honestly not knowing at all what it was. By the second or third week of that class, I felt like a veil had been lifted off of my face. I felt like um, a new set of glasses I, I put on and was seeing the world in a completely different way. There was just a lot of knowledge and information that I wasn't exposed to and that sociology provided me the reasons why that might be. It's just hard for me to think of what, what information would be more useful than information that really 
helps you understand more about you and your community, more about you and your environment. For some students, that's really, that's the hook. That's, that's what really gets them into whatever their major is going to be. Some courses were challenging in part because they were outside of what my interest area was, but that also taught me to persevere through challenging experiences, right? So to really push yourself in courses that you don't feel are connected to the direction you're going helps you later in life when you're faced with a, a challenge, maybe something you don't quite understand or you need more information about, to once again persevere.